Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my unboxing and first impressions of the ASUS Zenfone 6. Now this is a large screen device, it's got a 6 inch display with a 720 by 1280 pixel resolution, 245 ppi. Also inside here is an Intel Atom Z2580 processor, dual core, 2 gigahertz. It's also available in various specifications, 8, 16 or 32 gigabytes of internal storage and either 1 or 2 gigabytes of RAM and you can expand that with micro SD cards. So let's have a look around the box. I like this because they show some of the features just through here, things like Bluetooth 4, battery, 3G, Wi-Fi etc through these little holes on the side of the packaging. This side pretty much clear, just says Zenfone and Intel inside. And then round on the back, we just got some extra details about the actual phone. So let's unbox this and have a look. Wow, looks really nice. Very, very big device, as I said. And this tells you some more of the specifications. So we've got 13 megapixel Pixel Master camera, Corning Gorilla Glass 3, and a brand new Zen UI. So let's remove this out of the box, pop it to one side. We'll just have a look inside the bottom section of the box to see what else we get. So we've got some details here about the SIM card. This uh, uses a micro SIM card and it tells you about not cutting it to size using an adapter instead. Also got some warranty information and a user manual. And then we've got some cables. We've got a micro USB to full size USB cable. We've got a set of earphones and some different size silicon ear tips. And then we've also got the power adapter. I'm in the UK, so this is a three pin UK adapter. Around on the back, we've got the ASUS logo and the USB connection. So let's take a closer look at the ASUS Zenfone 6 and you'll see this six inch display that dominates the front of the device. Now, I did mention earlier it is 1280 by 720 resolution, so not the highest of resolutions that we come to expect from this size of screen, but the text is still nice and clear, nice and crisp, so it's not really a deal breaker. It is an IPS display, so it looks very, very nice. We've got the earpiece at the top. We've got a two megapixel front facing camera. We've got off screen controls here for multitasking, home and going back. And it all looks really nice. The actual transitions between the screens, nice performance. We've got widgets pre-installed. We've got plenty of apps pre-installed as well. A little tiny bit of lag when transitioning between screens, but nothing really too noticeable. And of course, this is a Google Play supported device. You can install pretty much anything on it. The actual design is really nice. We've got this uh, sort of metallic twirl design here on the bottom, which is really nice. We've, we've seen this on other devices from ASUS as well. We've got the earpiece, we've got the sensor at the top, we've got a two megapixel front facing camera, everything looking really good. Now let's have a look around the rest of the device. If we go around the back, we've got this rear facing camera. This is a 13 megapixel camera with a flash. The ASUS logo just here. It's capable of capturing 1080p video at 30 frames per second. And the back of the phone feels really nice. Yes, it is plastic, but it's a nice grade plastic. We've got the Intel logo down the bottom here and the speaker at the bottom. This side is completely clear. We've got a little sort of thumb grip hole here, I assume for removing the back. We've also got the microphone down the bottom, micro USB connector, and on this side we've got the volume rocker and also the power on off button. Across the top we've got another microphone and also the 3.5mm audio jack. It feels very, very nice in the hand, it really does. It is a big device, it's quite angular, we have got obviously these curves at the edges, but it's quite sort of a, a squarish device to hold but not too big and fairly thin bezels on the sides. Not the thinnest I've seen, but thinner than some other smartphones. So this is the ASUS Zenfone 6. This was my unboxing and first impressions. It feels very, very solid. I'm gonna to get to grips with it and then bring you my full review in the coming weeks. Thank you very much for watching. Please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next one.